Hi everyone, this is our last video uh, in our teapot series. So we're gonna talk about lids today. So when you're designing your form, you wanna have the lid be somewhere near the top and you wanna have a smaller opening. If the whole thing came off at the top, when you go to pour it, water might trickle out of that. So in this case, I have something a little small up here. And as far as the type of lid, there are a lot of different things to think about. So that you want to have something that sits down in. If you just have something that sits across the top, it can fall off, especially when you glaze. So you have to have something that either sits down in or sits down outside, or you have to create a ledge for your piece to sit down on. So these are like cutaway views of different types of lids. So it might be good to pause here as you're designing and kind of look at all of your options. The different parts of a lid are the knob or the finial, the flange, which is those little recessed parts that come down into the form, uh, and then you have just like the body of the lid, that straight part across. Now some lids, like the one to the right here, this one does not have a flange, but because the actual pot creates this shelf using just a loop tool, you can cut that away, it doesn't really need that. So if you look, all of them have some mechanism to hold that lid in place. And when you're designing it and finishing it too, you want it to fit well, but you don't want it to be so snug that it just fits. Because keep in mind, glaze will take up a little extra space. So you want to have a little wiggle room with that lid, however you design it. Okay, let's look at some examples of some lids. Okay, so all of these have different types of lids. Lids can be thrown on the wheel. Lids can be slab. Really anything could be made into a lid. So that's why I'm not really showing you technique. It's just kind of a continuation of your form. Now, this one up here, they probably constructed it all solid and then went back and sliced it off after. Probably the same thing with this. When you're trying to get something to really fit well, like this lid really connects well, it's almost better to make it a solid form where air is trapped and then eventually cut that lid off. Um, for this one, it looks like they had an opening down here, uh, a little opening, and then they had the lid that they created as a separate piece on top. And then as I mentioned, this one was probably done on the wheel. So as far as lids, you're just thinking about something that's smaller, you want the, something that fits well into the opening, but not too tight. Um, and just making sure it's designed well with your overall piece. 